Hi guys, welcome to the first video on the channel. Now on this channel you'll see a lot of shaky cameras because I'm really bad at holding cameras. Um, and you'll see art, fan art challenges, art challenges, Ninjago based. Um, potentially anime. Um, I'm not an anime fan, um, but I love the art style and I'll be drawing an anime a lot. But today I went to the works to get some art supplies and to look at the Lego books to see if there was the Star Wars one I really wanted. But they didn't have it. Um, but I got some stuff. I got these, and the reason I got these is because they look like Copic markers, and Copic markers are extremely expensive. What just one of the pens costs eight pounds? Um, I think it's like three hundred dollars, three hundred pounds for um, a whole pack of Copic markers. Um, so I've been trying. I found but um, knockoff ones on Amazon for twenty pounds, and. I saw these in the in the works and they looked very similar, so I tested them out. And the blending is actually quite nice. That's only for the green. I don't know about other colours. Um, and I also got this pad I'm using right now, and I got these. Um, uh, what would you call them? Well, they're skin colour pens. Skin, skin, skin pen. I don't know. Uh, they're brush pens, which is nice. I love brush pens. So they blend, and it's got anime on it. So. That's my favourite art style, so that's cool. Um, I'm going to be testing out these. I've drew, I've drew this. Um, a bit of it was reference, um, so that's why it looks bad because not it wasn't all reference. Um, and this is kind of my test page on the front page, and um, I'm going to open these up. This is the packet, by the way, if you want to get some for yourself. Um, they were really cheap, and um, yeah, I'm going to see what they're like. Hey, I did it. I actually opened the pack without having to use scissors or a knife. So here's the pack. I've decided I'm going to use these two colours. Um, this for the shadows and that for the main skin tone. Um, I don't know if that will work, but we'll have to wait and see. Um, but yeah, they look really nice. And um, I've decided I'm going to have gold hair and gold eyes. Um, and he's going to be have a power or something kind of like the golden power um, but i will get to the gold first and then i'll get to the actual skin tone so here's the gold um the black shop he won't go back over the gold so yeah it's not the best color in um, i didn't know that was gonna happen i knew that was a chance but hey um i've realized halfway through i was actually using bronze but there isn't exactly any difference between um the sharpie gold and bronze in my opinion and yeah it looks all right um i'm happy with the eyes other than that pupil there um but now let's get out the other pins and let's do this so here it is i'm very happy with this um, it's a very yellowish skin tone, which does work well because he has got golden power and it gives him a golden glow, kind of. Um, but the shading or the blending is phenomenal with these pens. Um, I'll show you that much. And it is good that it's yellow, yellowish as well for Ninjago characters because I can have a um, yellowish skin tone to look more realistic. And I love it. I'm really happy with these pens. I wasn't expecting the blend to be so well and um like these it's turned it um raised my expectations and i'm really happy with this so uh yeah i hope you enjoyed this video um uh, tell me what you want to see next a video that is coming is um drawing j in 10 different art styles um so yeah tell me what other videos you want me to do and i'll see you in the next one peace